Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. In our last class, we have completed the products part. Okay, we have already done the products part. In this video, let's start the uh, user and role authentication part. Okay, that is must the role authentication. So, if you are a point of uh, e-commerce website, there is a admin and user. There will be the two different roles. So, we have to uh, do the functionality according to the roles, right? If you have an admin, we have to give the permission for the system. So let me do the system based, thing, right? So we have a. If you are any confused, you go to my Tutors Funny website. You can type www.tutorsfunny.com. Here you will be able to see the first link, the authentication part. Here you will be able to get the uh, complete tutorial. Okay, so let me do the system based on this complete lesson right so this all the things are completed the task everything is completed so we have to do the or do the task okay so here i'm going to go the first one the i'm going to do the migration part so the user user is already there you can see here there the user role is already there when you create the system we don't need the user. Some of the students are doing the user again creating. We don't need to create a user. So we have to add the additional field which is a role. That's only the field we have. We are going to add it, which is a role. Okay. So the here you will be able to see here if it is a user, there will be two things. Okay, admin, user, and use user and admin. So we have a two different roles. Okay, admin, we have uh, we have to do all the we can control the, all over the system user can do some other part okay the e-commerce side be the user can't uh, able to add the products and everything admin can able to add the products right so uh, user can what are the stuff we can user can do it the customer can the customer as a user what are the things we do is they can add the item to the cart and they will be able to purchase the cart right admin is the part of the system administrator can uh, get the order and purchase the uh, get the order and shipping it shipping the customer address right now let's what you're going to do this let's this is a system i'm going to open up the new terminal window i'm going to do this one which is a we are, we are going to add another field so write php artisan make migration add role you have to add the add role to user table table users so you have to write the add role PHP artisan make migration and draw this is the uh, column I'm going to create to the user table you have to be switch table I'm going to create user step this is user table press enter key it has successfully created here the migration part so you'll be able to see why yeah, this will be created so go to the database folder inside the database folder there's a migration here the migration here the final migration you have created is showing here. You have to tell them which table you are going to, which column you have migrated, then only we can find it. So the add role to role to user table. So there's modification, the role is should be here. Right now, here this you can see the up and down function. Here, what I'm going to do is this function. I'm going to do the which role you are going to add it. So this role I'm going to put it over here. Table, which is a string, this is a role, this is the column I'm going to add it into the user table default is user okay the user user means that when the when the person is going to order the system the default is user the admin user we have to uh, log in as an admin user you can log in as a, that kind of uh, ur okay the default user is the default user must be a user the rest default role must be the user okay you have to, yeah, clearly i mentioned it default uh, role is user right the down Role here, I'm going to do it. What are the other things I'm going to do it? Here, this one is a role. You have tried this one. Right. Here to drop the role. Let's save all. Now I'm going to type it over here. PHP artisan migrate. Right. Now, if you want to check it whether it's working fine or not, you'll be able to see here admin. Now you can see 
uh, here the eyes uh, which is the gm shop this is my folder let's do the things for the table uh, project database so if you forget it score the fly shop that's my database fly shop so you go the fly shop on the gym fly shop here you will be able to see the fly shop there's there should be the user or user the user there's a role has been created here successfully created right it would be fine right yeah after that you have to done the migration part successful after that we have to create the roles okay so what are the roles use login and user so let first we have to create the admin and user role both are we have to create the login and registering both are we need to create it so let me create it one by one copy this copy this so you go over here you have to paste on this the command which is a sorry not this copy this command we have to okay, you can see here there should be the admin user we have created the for a separate folder admin inside the folder we have to create the controllers which is login controller if it is a user controller also we have to create a separate folder after created i'll be check here how to create the controller page parts and make controller which is admin this is nothing but a folder this is nothing but a folder i'm going to create one uh, folder because we easily understand Okay, if you have put one folder inside the folder we have created the admin con login controller inside this folder we have do all the operation based on the ad ad admin part so we easily we have to control the system if you are uh, without we have put create the folder and doing the uh, create the controller then we have we are very struggling to find the all the controller which controller is the admin and user there if you have put the separate folder and here we are easily under identify which controller is in, in, in which folder okay so we have to press enter key on your keyboard here you can go over here you can go inside the control folder there is a folder which is created by admin admin control folder we have a this folder is created after that i am going to create another one is a so to create this one copy this right click you have created the user control uh, login controller user login controller user login controller what i'm going to do is here here after that we have to create the we have to update this one admin controller and user controller i'm going to update the code so you can see here the controller has been created http controller admin controller. you will be able to find the controller over here right so this updated control you can update it you can see here is we have a login controller this is now we know this this control we have a index method and admin checked because we have to check the validate the username and password whether it's correct or not after the login function we have to explain this one don't worry i'm going to copy this this code right so this is the admin control login controller you have to paste it don't worry i'll be explaining it okay right so here we have to give the auth we need auth this is must auth request and ash model this all things are must we have to put it over here so what we have to put it above here auth request request we know need to be already there it's a controllers which is a admin controller so we don't need this one controllers controllers admin controller right here you'll be able to see here you can see here app http controller admin controller here this one controller so here uh, we have to give the both request slash this hash password user user mean what's the things we are doing here is if you if i check the username and password we have to communicate with the model here we have the model this is a model the model where we have communicated the model we have to add the additional field which is a role we already created with the reason we have created right log rod right user role. we have to add it okay save all so we have when you log in the user we have to check it 
right the when the user is created right so that's this thing we have to do it later on okay this all things we have uh, see step by step you just update the code what i did here okay you just update the code if i explain and do it you can't catch up because the there is a few things you have to do it right after that you have to update the uh, locking controller this code copy this we have to update it go and update it we have a login controller login you have to update this code after that we have what you are going to do is here you have to update the code we have to write it this one this all the source code i could just copy it after the request paste them auth hash right so this is a user but update the code right so control s save all you just update this one right this one you just update this one all right that's the thing you have to do it right after that what i'm going to solve things are done so after that we have to make the another country we have created as a uh, admin registration and admin uh, user right now what you are going to do is we already we have created both uh, we have created those controller admin registration and user registration so registration is we have to create the account for the uh, admin user and your uh, user local user so we have to create the registration so so without a registration how to create the login so we have a registration form we have to create the controller the admin uh, admin registration we have to create inside the folder admin folder user registration you have to create inside the user folder there is a controller which is an admin uh, registration controller you have to create inside the user folder there is a controller called user registration controller. You copy this back to here paste on this press enter key this created after that go here you have to copy this paste it here this controller has been created right admin registration will go here We have to go to this code. We have to copy this. Paste it over here. The admin controller, admin registration, right? So you have to register. So we I'll be explaining it later on these all the things. Okay, you don't bother about that one. I'll be explaining it later on, right? So this one, all the things I just right. So okay, the hash, this model, we need to need them. We have to paste it over here after that we need a, another one is a user registration here also i'm going to update the code which is a user registration so as a, as a user registration yeah this is the code right so here yeah, we have to just copy it here registration we have to update it control s to save all but here also we have to add this model right that's the thing you have to wait perfect file save you have to make all the things you have to do the things okay now what i did so far i have created the two different controller for the uh, user management system which is a role so we are making the security of the system user and admin we have to create the two different controller which is a admin controller and user controller Based on the controller, we have created the login controller and registration controller. That's the thing we have to do it. We have to update the code. Right. The code I'll be explaining it later on. Right. After that, we have to create the middle bear part. Okay, so middle bear part, how to create the middle bear part step by step, we will be touching my next video tutorial. And and how to how the system works, we all things we are continuing my next video tutorial because if I continue this one, the video is going to be very length. You are so boring. So that we have what I did so far. You have to go through this lesson. Thank you for watching.